we had a drama with that. We had a little bit, a couple of dramas <laughs> throughout this. Good morning, loves. We have another doctor's appointment today. So first one in my every two weeks, I was at the doctor two weeks ago. I actually have to go back next week too. Today's May 25th. It's Monday. And then I have an appointment on June 2nd for my ultrasound. Doctor ordered an ultrasound. I think it's the one where they test how big the baby is because let's see, I am 31 weeks right now. I'll be 32 weeks on Thursday. So I'm in my 32nd week and I guess I'm in my 31st week. So I'll be between 32 and 33 weeks then. I believe it's when they tell you how much the baby weighs and all of that. You know I love you when I show you my, not only my disgusting swollen pregnancy feet, my disgusting swollen unpedicured pregnancy feet on the internet. But I wanted to show you because yesterday my doctor, when I was on the table, I had to take off my shoes and she goes, oh, your poor little feet because they're so swollen. And then she started kind of poking them to make sure there were no clots or anything. So I'm using my true energy infrared technology socks today. You guys know how much I love red light therapy. I've been swearing by it for years. For you guys who have been with me, you saw me do a whole session in front of them while I was vlogging one time, but I can't do it right now when I'm pregnant. I mean, I, at least I don't think I can. So I'm erring on the side of caution and I'm not even looking into it. It's just on hold until baby comes. But what happens when you wear these socks is the heat of your body combines with the technology inside of the socks and it creates an infrared reaction. It reduces swelling, which is what I need them for. Also, other benefits are temporary pain relief, increased circulation, relaxes tight muscles, which I need because my calves and also my arches cramp, which is strange. Enhances recovery, reduces swelling, once again, reduces lactic acid, which is what flows into your muscles when you are sore after a hard workout. So we want to get that out of there. We want to reduce it. So I'm going to put these on today, wear them for the gym. If you guys are interested, I have a 20% discount code for you. They're great for athletes. They're great for people with diabetes. They are great for the average person who just wants to do better as far as athletic performance or circulation or my fellow pregnant swollen ladies. I swear if I step on something or a pin comes near me, my feet might pop only kidding oh these are so good they're so comfortable i can actually feel the compression just sitting here and not extra heat but just kind of like i guess a warmth under my feet these are going to be a lifesaver i also loved i forgot to show you guys three colors we have gray we have white we have black i got the no show ankle but they also come in over the calf crew no show tab a liner low cut or knee sleeve they come in small and medium or large and extra large i got a small medium and i wear a size woman's eight shoe if you're interested in trying out the infrared socks which i swear by you'll see in a second true energy was kind enough to give me a discount code for you it is tenergy 21 that's t-e-n-e-r-g-y 21 i'll put the link to the website where to get them and the 20 percent discount code in the description box below. Sorry, gross feet alert again, but this is about an hour after I started wearing them and you could start to see bones and veins and much less swelling all over again. So I highly recommend them. If you try them out, just let me know in the comments what you think. I love you guys. Back to the video. Okay, I got up, I ate breakfast, I worked a little bit, hopped in the shower. Let me show you guys this. So I'm gonna ask the doctor to swab me today. If you guys watched my 30 week video that just posted, I think it's last week. I don't know when this is gonna post, but I was telling her that like, I had like a little bit of a funky odor going on and there's my outfit. I took out my outfit already. We'll do an outfit of the day. You guys love when I do those, but you can see my shoes on the floor. That's because sneakers are because your girl didn't get a pedicure. I got a manicure and yes, I did blue just in case little boy comes a little early. He shouldn't be this early, God forbid. We still have about two months to go. So the doctor's gonna swab me because I told her I have a, like a little bit of a funky odor with my discharge. She said it's totally normal. She told me to add a prebiotic and to eat some Greek yogurt and to just try to like air out the area for a while. It, like 90% of women when they're pregnant get it. It's gotten a ton better, but it's still very like every, every once in a while, it's a little bit faint. It used to be almost every day. If I've had it twice since my last appointment, that's a lot and it's not even as strong. So hopefully whatever I'm doing is working. I added a prebiotic fiber. I eat it at night to help with the 
third trimester tummy issues as well. I've not had any issues since I've been taking prebiotic gummy fibers. I'll put the link in the description box below. It's just easier because you guys always ask me for the links. And then I've been taking, I added right when the doctor told me that, probiotics in the morning. The brand I've been using, my sister recommended, is Organic Olivia. I got it right from, that's the name of the girl that we follow. We love, love, love her. She's just such a cutie. But oh, I can't remember the name of her company. I'll post a link to it below. I got it right on Amazon. It came in a day. Thank God, because I was like, I want this gone. And of course I had to add Greek yogurt bars because, frozen Greek yogurt bars, because it's for my medical health that I have to eat ice cream every day. <laughs> So this morning I took a mirror with me, a magnifying mirror. Let me show you guys. Let me just show you guys. Hold. I took this with me into the shower. Please don't get offended by this, it's a joke. But this is like reason number five million that God is a woman. She makes it so that when you're pregnant, you can't see past your belly down to your girly parts. Because when I held that mirror up, there's a reason why Jenny McCarthy calls it the purple Twinkies, that it gets swollen down. Whoa. Not that I ever find girl parts attractive, but this is like next level disgusting. I almost wanted to cry. I didn't. I mean, that's like dramatic. I'm kidding. But wow. Oh, I guess I should say the reason why I wanted to bring the mirror and look down there is because I have to shave and you either have to blind shave, which I've been doing. And it was like somebody took a weed whacker all over the grass and just missed spots. This is the TMI of TMI, but you guys know I keep it real. And I'm going to let you know what's going to happen. And you're going to get purple Twinkies and you're not going to be able to see it. And I contemplated getting wax down there, but I'd rather just deal with it myself. And plus, I don't even think I have time at this point to grow it out to get a wax. I think he'll be here before that. So I, I need a good five, six weeks to get it long enough. They say grain of rice. I hope there's no boys here. If, if there are, buckle up, buckos. <laughs> you're gonna get an education. I'm fine. I was able to shave after I got past the initial shock of having some purple Twinkies swollen down there. Oof. So now I'm just putting on very minimal makeup. I'm gonna get dressed. My doctor's appointment was supposed to be at 10. I got a little notification. They're running about 15 minutes behind. That's due to update at any point. So I will be ready to be there for 10 just in case, but I don't mind the extra 15 minutes. I hope my outfit of the day works because on Friday, Adam had an event that I had to go to and I had my outfit planned in my head. It was gonna be an adorable sundress. This sundress, I was just gonna like wear it a little bit more professional and less casual. It was 50 something degrees and 50 something degrees in Las Vegas feels cold. I was like, all right, I have a backup. I tried on the backup, it looked atrocious. I tried on the second backup, it did not fit me. I tried on a third backup. It just wasn't right. Tried on a fourth backup. It was too casual. At this point, I'm panicking. I am an hour late. An hour late for this event. I wound up putting on the dress that I wore in my gender reveal video over the knee boots. You guys, I looked like a pilgrim. And at that point, I was like, I gotta go. And Adam called and he was like at the event whispering like, are you okay? And I'm like, I can't find anything to wear. Now I have like full glam going, mascara and everything. And my eyes start to water because I'm getting ready to cry. And it's not that I feel huge. I don't care that my belly's huge. I just couldn't find anything to fit me and wear and I was running out of time and I was making myself anxious and I was in my head hormonally. That said, here is a tip for you pregnant mamas. Actually, this is a tip for any woman, for anybody. Get a couple of go-to outfits that you feel confident in, especially my third trimester mamas because when you wear them, like if I had worn that sundress and somebody told me that I looked huge, I would have been like, oh yeah, little man looks huge because you feel comfortable and you feel confident and it's easier for you to process that they're talking, literally talking about your belly and the baby. They're not talking about you. Typically it's, it's not a below the belt thing. And even if it is a below the belt thing, if it's like a jerk who's jealous and they say something really mean, like, wow, you got really fat with your pregnancy. It's easier to process that when you're like, girl, I look adorable. Look at this little dress. You know what I'm saying? So there's a tip that I sent to my sisters the other day. I learned that lesson on Friday because I did have my cute outfit. I wasn't able to wear it. I panicked and then I just felt like I looked like large March the rest of the night because the dress was like too flowy and big and you know how it goes. Anyway, I'm just gonna finish my makeup really quick, throw on some blush, throw on some mascara and we'll be back with an outfit of the day before I head out to my visit. I'm meeting the new midwife today, by the way. She's not new, but there's three people in the practice that deliver babies and you could have any of those three deliver your baby depending on who's on call that night. They're not all on call every night. So you're allowed to bring your significant other when you meet a new doctor so he can meet them too. 
he or she can meet them too. Because we have an ultrasound on the second, he doesn't want to take off work like back to back and it's just going to be a quick appointment anyway. And so he's like, do you mind just FaceTiming me? And I was like, absolutely not. In fact, I'll feel more comfortable because I'm going to ask her to swab me. Like you don't need to sit through that. And he goes, I don't really care. Like it doesn't bother me. Really, it shouldn't. I mean, he's been down there more than she has. I was going to say, sorry, mom, but mom's in heaven. She hears it all. She knows it all. Sorry, Aunt B. You guys know what I mean though. So he's cute, but for me, like personally, I don't know. Do you need to sit through that? I don't think you need to sit through that. It's fine. I didn't call him purposely on FaceTime last appointment because I wanted to talk to her about the BV smell. It's just me. I'm a shy girl. All right, you guys, I'll be back in two minutes. Mwah. Okay, friends, can you see me? This is the outfit I decided to go with. It's not originally what I was going to wear. Can you see me at all? <laughs> so I am wearing, how do I do this so you could see me? There it is. Okay. I am wearing, I, I had planned on wearing this cardigan, this top, and then these shorts. I was going to wear sneakers, but my legs are so swollen. It's actually kind of ugly. <laughs> so we're going to go with this. This is a set from Shein. I love this set. It was one of my first maternity sets that I got and I'm so glad I did. When I first got it, this band was enormous on me. These pants fell down. It was hysterical. I wanted to wear them to fly to New Jersey in March and I couldn't because they were so big. So my belly finally fills them in. I just think it's very, it's very, very comfortable. It could almost pass as pajamas, but it could also pass as an outfit. So I'm not concerned. I just put on my R necklace from my grandma. This is from my grandmother. Her name was Rose. I'm named after her. I got all of her jewelry because I'm the only one with an R name. And then I don't know if you could see the little cross on there is from Italy that my grandfather, her husband, the one I share a face with, gave me. And then um, I'm wearing those Zinf blue light blockers because, I don't know, I thought they were cute with the outfit. I went a little bit nerdy today. My movement watch that you guys have seen a whole bunch of times, I will link it below. And just this bracelet. I don't know where I got that to be honest with you guys. So that's the outfit. I've got to get going. I just went to the bathroom really quick. I took off the glasses. I didn't like them. My concealer and my um, mascara came out good today. So we're going without the little glasses. I was just trying to do a little accessory. I almost changed my necklace to my Roseanne necklace, uh, the Carrie Bradshaw style, but this is on. We're running late. This is fine. It's a little big, but that's okay. Filling up my water bottle to drink that on the road. And then we are heading out. Let's check a light. We spent our days on the coast of something beautiful We got pulled into the tide of something real But somehow I lost you on the way I assumed you left me behind Lifeless days and sleepless nights, all tired OMG, I just filmed for 10 minutes and it wasn't recording So we'll start again, that's okay, I got interrupted a hundred times Adam called me at about 10 to 10 to 10 and he's like are you there and I was like no the appointment's running late I'm leaving in about 10 minutes so it's actually I left the house at 10 10 a little bit later than I should have but that's okay it's the doctor's office is less than 10 minutes away he is heading over to a meeting at the prison that he's he goes back into to uh, train the staff sometimes he does trainings with the residents there. He didn't know he had this meeting today. It was a last minute thing. So I said, no problem. I was like, listen, I'll just call you. I'll try to FaceTime you from there. And if you can answer, you can answer. And if not, it's really no big deal. It's, I'm not upset about it. We are meeting the midwife for the first time today. I kind of wish he could meet her, but only because she's one of the people that could deliver our baby. It's more about me meeting her because I'm going to be the one that's in pain and pushing and that fun stuff. I hope I can catch him. If not, I'll tell him all about it when he gets home tonight. I'm 31 weeks and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 31 weeks and four days. I've been for about the past week, been getting a ton of comments about like, oh my God, you got huge. And this is going back to what I said before about have some cute outfits that make you feel really adorably pregnant and accentuate the bump and just make you feel really good about yourself because I am so super sensitive about my weight and none of that bothered me honestly when people tell me I got huge and I'm like I know he's getting so big he's gonna be strong and I genuinely mean it like none of it stings none of it hurts me which going back to my first trimester when I made those couple of videos where I was in my head I was crying I was so sensitive about putting on the weight I think it's more because I didn't have a bump yet so I just felt like I looked like I 
fell off of my personal fitness and health routine because that's really important to me. And I was just pregnant. You just couldn't tell yet. Now that I have this big bump, I feel better. Are there times where I melt down? Very few and far between. I think that twice and once was this past Friday that I just told you guys the story this morning. If I could pass along anything to you today, it is to get something pregnant or not. Get a couple of things, even if they're cheap. Most of my dresses are from online stores for $10, but they look really cute and I feel really good in them. Even if somebody says something bad to me, I'm like, please, do you see how cute I am? So there's my advice. Doctor wise, I don't think I have anything else. I'm not sure. I feel like it's going to be a quick one, but it is third trimester. So who knows? she might throw a ton of information at me. I do have, I went a little smaller today. I want less jars. I have a little notebook that I got from Pink Stork and I hope I have a pen because you know, that could help the situation. But also I repeat everything to you guys in these vlogs. So if I needed anything to jog my memory, I could just watch back my videos. Sorry, there is a truck in front of me that is driving so slow and I'm already late. All right, and now there's somebody that is driving a Hyundai that's driving about five miles an hour. It is not my day today. It's gonna be great. I love you guys and I'll try to get some footage from the office. If not, I'll be back afterwards. We spent our days on the coast of something beautiful. We got pulled into the tide of something real. Somehow I lost you on the way. I assumed you left me behind. Lifeless days and sleepless nights, so tired of it. I can't get you off my mind, can't forget it. Now I know what I've got to do is find my way back. friends we're back i tried to film this in the parking lot at the hospital after my visit but for some reason it wouldn't it kept just stopping i think it was too full so i tried to delete some stuff off of my phone trials and tribulations anyhow i was in there for over an hour just waiting in the exam room so that was a little bit annoying i am so tired i forgot to tell you guys this i woke up at three o'clock last night could not fall back asleep so four o'clock i got up went to the bathroom drank some water walked around a little bit tried to go back to sleep at five o'clock adam woke up and got out of bed so i logged into work i started working a little bit i went back into bed and i said i uh, just wake me up before you leave for work if i fall back asleep and thank god i slept till 7 30 because i do not do well when i don't sleep and i told him i was like i don't want it to be a miserable day we'll put it out there to the universe that it's not going to be however if i don't sleep it gets a little rough. I get very emotional. I get very cranky. So I'm glad I slept a little bit. However, I'm telling you guys that to say, I wish I had a dollar for every time I said, I'm telling that to say, or the point is, I say it all the time. I was sitting in that exam room playing on my adult pacifier, AKA my cell phone. And I was about to curl up on that little table and take a, a little nap. But I have to tell you, it was so worth the wait. I absolutely adore the midwife. She's this tw teeny tiny little woman with this very zen personality. She looks and acts and sounds like she should be a yoga instructor. Like she's just so even, calm, sweet. And it was the first time I met her. I wish Adam was there so he could have met her. He wasn't able to join me on FaceTime, but that's okay. I'll tell him all about it afterwards. I'd rather have him at the ultrasound next week. And I double checked at the front desk. He is allowed to come for that, which is amazing. The first thing that the midwife said when she walked in, she's like, oh my goodness, I love your outfit. You look like you should be at a spa. You're just so calm and it's just so peaceful and I love it. And I was like, yeah, I was like, well, maybe I should go there after this. She's like, just tell your partner that I was like, you prescribed it. And she's like, yeah. I was like, well, doctor's orders. We had a good little banter. And then I told her my one little issue was that we thought I might've had an infection. It slowed down a lot, but it's still kind of there. I said, the doctor said that she would swab me next time I'm here. I don't know if that means now or next time. And she's like, we'll do that before you leave. She said, let's just measure your belly first and make sure everything's okay. We'll take the baby's heartbeat. So she measured, I think I'm at 31 and she's like, that's perfect. Two centimeters either way is great but I don't know which way I am. And I thought about that after I left. I don't know if I'm two centimeters smaller or two centimeters bigger than where you usually are at 31 weeks and four days. I'm gonna assume bigger. My belly got huge, but 
I don't know. I have a feeling I have a big boy, just based off of the the size of his foot but I'll let you guys know more June 2nd which is next week is the ultrasound and I'm pretty sure that's the one where they tell me how much the baby weighs very curious he is a mover she was cute she put the doppler on there and she's like well if you just stop moving I could get your heartbeat and I was like I know he is a mover so he was at 126 I think she said it's totally normal everything's fine with that oh I'm up two pounds which I thought is good. I didn't think one or two pounds. I couldn't really read the scale. I'll know when they send me the, um, the update afterwards. Like the, I got an email from the portal tonight. My blood pressure is still pretty low. I think it's like 95 over 65 or something like that. I know a lot of you guys are really concerned about potential preeclampsia for me because of my swelling. I thought the same thing, but I'm good blood pressure is low the good thing is i'm getting monitored now every week well i have so i have my ultrasound next week so they'll take it my blood pressure and my weight then and then i have my following two week appointment like update with the doctor because it's just an ultrasound no update with the doctor afterwards next week then that'll be my two week appointment and then after that i go every week so i'm really grateful i'm getting monitored and looked at closely because just in case things flip flop and turn but i'm still working out pretty hard i might be adamant workout but it was cute because the trainer is like a good friend of ours he's so funny and he's like oh, man he's like you just got beat by a girl a pregnant girl like you got beat bad but you have to remember I'm doing everything completely modified so it's a lot easier he's going hardcore with a lot more weight and I'll go trying to sprint a lot faster so I might have gone faster than him but he definitely beat me but we all joke with each other like that to help each other kind of like go faster and get better but the point but the point is, there it is again. I am still working out hard. No problems with that. They have no problems with that. And that should help my blood pressure hopefully stay normal. Maybe not. Who knows? It could just be a genetic thing. It could be my age where I do develop that. I'll let you guys know. But my face looks good. So I did tell her about the swab. She's like, let's do it today. And so she's like, it sounds like BV. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I said to her before she even swabbed me, I was like, so what's the protocol if I do test positive for that, like now with baby? And she said, now that you're in the third trimester, usually most medications are fine now. She said, we could do one of two things. We could do an oral antibiotic or we could do the internal antibiotic. Which one do you prefer? And I said, well, whatever is best for baby, whatever you prefer, because that's my first concern. I could care less. And she's like, honestly, third trimester, it's really your preference. They both work the same. The oral one could give you a little bit more of some stomach upset, like GI issues, but they're both whatever your personal preference is. She said, why don't you just get undressed? Here's a gown. I'm going to step out and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So I kind of felt the discharge sorry this is way TMI but I kind of felt it happening while I was getting undressed which it didn't come out it was great because I knew last time she couldn't test me because it wasn't happening so I knew that it was there and even when she swabbed me what's really funny is I was so sweaty because I was in there for so long and it's really hot that I literally stuck to the paper and then she's like all right just like scooch up a little bit and I was stuck to the paper so I had to scooch a little harder and I got a cramp in my hamstring and I was like oh I'm getting a cramp and she's like okay okay she's like are you okay do you want to stretch it and she like stretched my leg out for me thank god it didn't last very long thank god it wasn't bad because when I get the trolley horses in my calves I curse and I scream and I'm like no and poor Adam has to deal with that but thank God it wasn't like that. Cause I, I'm, I'm shy. I would have been mortified. She would ju like just got in there. Um, I, I just need to stop saying TMI. And she's like, I see the DC pretty much it's BV. She's like, I could tell I'm not even going to go up any further and, and hurt you. I don't have to, but I do have to send this in. She's like, just to be a hundred percent certain. She said, I don't want to put you on antibiotics if you don't need them, but she's pretty sure I'm pretty sure and then she'll prescribe an antibiotic for me and it should clear it up, which I'm just like, I would, if I wasn't pregnant and especially this pregnant, I would just try to clear it up by myself, but I don't want it to affect baby. I know it could affect a baby's weight and they can come out less than five pounds, like five and a half pounds or less if it could be a side effect of the BV and they can come prematurely. So we don't want that. I prefer to get this taken care of. And as much as I hate taking medication, when it's necessary, it's necessary. And this is necessary. And I have no qualms, 
totally here for it. Right across the street is my doctor's, from the doctor's office is a shopping center. I went here for lunch last time I showed you guys. There was also a Kohl's. So I stopped in there because I wanted to look at their fake plants. I'm just finishing up the nursery. So I did get one that was like, but like seriously, a little too much money. I think I might return it. It was on sale, like way percentage off and it was still a little expensive. So I'll probably return that, but I wanna see what it looks like in the room. I confirmed with her that I can if it doesn't fit. While I was in there, I had to stop in the Carter section. Instagram made me do it because this was an ad that was served to me yesterday and I was gonna go to Carter's tomorrow when I'm in Henderson because we saw one yesterday and then I saw there was a Carter section here and I'm like, well, I do have a Kohl's card. So I had to get this onesie though, you guys. I could not not, I couldn't not. And I had to get it in three months because he needs to wear it when he's small. You ready? I think I'm gonna put that with Adam's Father's Day present though. It's all muscle. Does it get any cuter? I don't think so. And they were buy one, get one. So mom's coffee date. I got that one a little bit bigger. I got that one in six months. And then as I was leaving on clearance, they had these little sun hats and my little man is being born in Vegas in July. So this one was on clearance, originally $75, 75, no, imagine. What is it, Gucci? Originally $17, now $5.95. A little sun hat, my little gingham boy, this little, <laughs> he's gonna have a baby mohawk, like this little baby, I don't know, is it baby shark? I don't know, but this one's definitely Baby Shark. So we got little man some sun hats, and now we're going home to eat lunch, work on the nursery a little bit, and then I think I might take a nap because I barely slept. First things first, I have to get gas, and I'm sitting here idling, and I've been on empty for like two or three days, so we should do that. Oh, and while we're down here, maybe I'll go through the car wash. Okay, lots of things to do. I love, love, love you guys so much. I can't wait to reveal the nursery to you. Just have to finish putting a couple of things up on the shelves. Adam hung a couple of shelves for me over the weekend. We had a drama with that. We had a little bit, a couple of dramas <laughs> throughout this nursery process, but we kept our heads together. It's been fun. It was a team building exercise. I have almost all of the baby's clothes washed. I have to go get some more hangers at Walmart because I ran out. Then I just have to fix the shelves, put the plants in, get a couple of little fake plants. This one is for like next to the crib. I'll show you guys, you'll see it. And then I'm done and I'll do a reveal. I can, can, cannot wait to show you guys. I'm so excited and that's it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.